If you wear an Apple Watch, like so many of us do, you will start getting alerts about high blood pressure in the near future. On Thursday, the FDA gave the Apple the green light for a hypertension monitor in smartwatches. Apple says it will launch the feature on Monday. Our medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is with us this afternoon to talk about the new technology. Let's start with how this works. Oh, it's so fascinating. Yeah. I'm so excited as a cardiologist. Sure. <laughs> because we have so many cases of undiagnosed high blood pressure. So it's called photoplethysmography. If you ever turned your Apple Watch over and you're both wearing Apple Watches, have you seen a green light? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't the know. Little, the Let's little see. Radar, or, yes. Um, not radar, yes. But, yeah. And so when you turn on the heart rate okay. monitor, especially, you can see a little green light. Green or red is a, a infrared LED light. And what it does is it sends pulses of that light into your skin, looks at the blood vessels, the teeny tiny blood vessels of your skin, and basically sees how much of that light gets reabsorbed back into the sensors. Now, depending on how much blood volume you have inside those blood vessels, that determines how much light gets absorbed. So when your blood pressure is high, you can have higher blood volume and the light absorption changes. So they use this in a machine learning algorithm and basically made an algorithm where it's sampling you for 30 days all the time and spits back out to you if you have high blood pressure because of the way that your light's being absorbed. Really interesting. Yeah, yeah. so is this just like for the brand new watches? You know that, what was it, Tuesday this week, they just announced all their fancy new stuff or like can us with the older watches <laughs> still yeah. get this tech? No, I want it. Yeah, so I think they are gonna outfit but software updates some of the older watches, I think 9, 10, and 11, and then definitely the newer watches are gonna have it as well. And I think this is huge because we have so many people out there walking around with high blood pressure not realizing it because high blood pressure is called the silent killer because it doesn't cause symptoms until it gets so high that you're having mm. blood vessels pop in the brain, you're having blurry vision, you're having headaches. And so you really wanna check it early. But most of us don't think about checking our blood pressure regularly. Right. So having this kind of what's called passive monitoring, it's becoming much more popular in medicine. Now the blood pressure cuffs that do this haven't been that accurate in spitting out a number. So be careful because this won't give you a number, it'll just tell you whether or not you have high blood pressure which we define as a blood pressure greater than 130 over 80 or elevated blood pressure, which is greater than 120 over 80. So what should people do if they get that notification that it's too high? So then you need to actually sit down and collect data using a regular blood pressure cuff okay. for seven days, at least seven days, and then share that with your doctor. And if you do end up having high blood pressure, you'll probably get started on treatment. Now this may not pick up every single person with high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And I, as a cardiologist, am still waiting to see how it sort of performs in terms of you know how sensitive is it? How sure. many people is it falsely diagnosing? And how specific is it how many people is it missing that should have been diagnosed? Mm. Well, let's say this works the way that it's supposed to. Like, is this a game changer? What does this mean as far as tracking our blood pressure? It's a game changer, I think. Mm. I mean, I think, and it also reflects a bigger cultural shift where monitoring, personal device monitoring, is going to change the way we think about medicine. One of the biggest challenges I have as a cardiologist, especially in my older patients, is I don't know what's happening to them all day long. And, you know, the predictions according to Apple are that it'll diagnose a million new Americans every wow. year with blood pressure, high blood pressure that didn't have that diagnosis before. So imagine, and we know that the course of the disease if diagnosed early, we can actually change the prognosis by putting you on treatment as opposed to waiting till it's damaged your kidneys, your eyes, your heart, and all the other organs. Yeah, big deal. Definitely a potential game changer. Definitely. Dr. Coley, thank you.